Ahead of Korea's Liberation Day, President Park said she looks forward to moving relations with Japan after Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe upholds Tokyo's past apologies for its colonial era atrocities. Meeting the leader of Japan's opposition Democratic Party, Katsuya Okada, today, the Korean president said Seoul and Tokyo have been able to improve ties thanks to Japan's self reflection in the forms of the so called Kono and Murayama statements. Referring to the aging Korean victims of Japan's wartime sex slavery, President Park stressed the urgency of resolving the matter, adding now may be the final chance. Okada, in response, said he is sorry and shameful as a Japanese politician and that he hopes related negotiations between the two countries will lead to favorable results. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is expected to release a statement later this month to mark the 70th anniversary of Japan's surrender in World War II.